have the right content to travel to it and then produce. So we have to rely now on, you know, crude coming from Venezuela and also from Saudi Arabia. So let's go back again to the theft of, uh, you know, uh, almost, yummy, yummy. yeah. Let's, let's hold on there. Let's hold on there for a minute. Now, when that refinery was set up, was it set up to use the crude oil from Nigeria? That's the question that some people are asking at the moment. Was it set up? To well, use I mean, that, that, that is what blew my head off because, you know, when I was reading that this morning, you know, I, I was almost lost, you know, trying to figure out how did we end up building a refinery that cannot produce what we have? And then we have to rely on another crude oil to be import into Nigeria so that that refinery can function. You can see why the four refineries, and I can also say that from that particular article and the analysts on the ground, I am not sure that what the president told us with the Portacot refinery coming back up in the next couple of months is definitely going to be coming up as well. It, it is sad. It is sad because I don't, I don't get it. Now, we, uh, we call something uh, in, in economics, uh, location and localization of industry. So if I set up an industry here, I know that the raw materials are there to feed it. That's why I located it there. So I go and set um, maybe a, a popcorn farm, not a popcorn factory in a place where they are growing popcorn uh, corn, so that I can just maize, so that I can just use that to feed the, 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 the factory. But it's a case where we build the thing there. Why can't we use our own or put a machine or the, the equipment in there that can use our own produce from there. But rather, we have to now import. What kind of management is that? Well, it, it just shows the, you know, the lack of, you know, honesty from those that have decided to manage the affairs of Nigeria from when we took it back from, you know, the independent, uh, you know, from the, you know, from the British as at the time. And, you know, we, we went back into democracy in 1999. And like I said, it's just a complete total mess that we can't have a refinery that can then refine what we have. We then have to rely heavily, you know, and I say heavily because, you know, like I said, this is something that I'm going to have to talk about tomorrow because I am getting to know about it myself today. And I'm not sure whether many Nigerians are aware of it as well. So you can see why every time we come out and say the refineries are not working is because we are not able to put in our crude oil into that particular refinery that was built by the federal government, but again, is a failure as well. <laughs> well, listen, there's wonders will never happen, uh, stop happening in Africa. And these are not wonders that help us, but wonders that seem to be destroying us or making us poorer as the days go by. But listen, let's start ready, okay? So let me quickly for you. We go back to the for uh, the continuation of that story, the oil theft. Tell us more. Well, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Archie. And uh, for those of you watching out on the screen, you'll probably be seeing, you know, the parliament there, uh, you know, on the screen right there. So let's go back again, uh, you know, to that particular, you know, the federal government yesterday revealed that more than 4.3 trillion worth of crude oil was stolen in, in 7,143 pipeline vandalism cases within the period of five years. So that means, you know, the five years of the former president, Mamadou Buhari and Yemio Sibajo, Nigeria was losing so much amount of money. This was actually disclosed at the Nigeria International Pipeline Technology and Security Conference in Abuja with the team bolstering regulations, technology and security for growth. And as you're talking about security, it takes me straight to, you know, America advisory to their citizen not to be going to Nigeria if it's not really, really important. And if it's going to be something that you definitely have to be in Nigeria, the advice is take a very low profile and avoid major cities and major hotels. These, uh, I was actually analyzing it yesterday, trying to pin and put out, you know, maybe America is aware of certain information that, uh, you know, the federal government is not aware, but I can tell you that, you know, the federal government as literary, you know, by the Minister of Information, it is no longer like Mohammed, but we have a new Minister of Information as well. Let's first go back and look into why America, you know, is giving these, you know, advisory to their citizen that might be thinking of traveling to Nigeria anytime soon. This came out uh, just, uh, you know, 
just about uh, some 72 hours ago uh, and it is becoming a very, very big news in Nigeria right now. Uh, and I'm looking right now from the U.S. Embassy and the consulate in Nigeria. It says, and I quote, um, bear with me, let's see if we can get that back again. Once again, a very, very good morning. Uh, the U.S. alert citizen of a threat to major hotels in Nigeria. The United States issued this warning in an emergency information for the American citizen that was dated November 3rd. According to the message, the United States has alerted its citizens in Nigeria of a threat to major hotels in larger cities of the country. The U.S. issued this warning in what is called the emergency information for the American citizen, adding that the Nigerian security agencies are working to counter the threat. It also advised the U.S. citizen to, to exercise vigilances at major hotels, be a lot of their surroundings. Most importantly, keep a low profile. If possible, review the travel advisory for Nigeria before you check into any of this hotel. The U.S. government says is aware of a credible information that there is an elevated threat to major hotels in the Nigerian larger cities. I'm sure you remember... 2005, July 77, Mr. Achi, where about 55 innocent lives were lost to terrorists in this country. 770 innocent people also have been affected. Some also has to be a life changing as well. The question is, would the federal government take this advice? Well, this is what the federal government says this morning. The travel advisory would discourage foreign investment to Nigeria. This is coming from the federal government. You'll be wondering why the federal government thinks that if there's a credible information that there's an imminent attack on Nigeria soil, on the Nigerian territory, and the federal government is talking about, you know, travel advisory will be discouraged. I expect the federal government to say, we are doing everything possibly best to look into this, you know, credible information from their partner, America, and see how they can minimize, you know, the issue as well. And for those of you that are watching us on the screen, right there you can see, you know, King Charles making his way into, you know, the parliament. And likewise, as you can remember, he just returned back from Kenya on that trip. He argued, I'm talking now about the Minister for Information, the federal government has literally kicked against the travel advisory issued by the United Kingdom and the United States to their citizens in Nigeria, claiming it will create unnecessary panic and discourage investment in the country. I'm not sure whether investors would like to invest in a country where security is a threat. And I can confirm again that as we continue to monitor on a daily basis the amount of insecurity that is going on in Nigeria, let me take us to Plateau State, where troops arrested 19 suspected kidnappers. That shows that the troop will be able to work if they have the right intelligence, if they're able to act on it as quickly as possible. And like we say here in UK, see it, say it, sorted. Troops of Operation Safe Heaven in charge of maintaining peace in Plateau State have again arrested 19 suspected kidnappers in the state. This is coming barely two weeks after the troops arrested 73 kidnappers, including terrorists who have been terrorizing various communities in the state. I am not sure an investor would like to move their money into Taraba State or into any part of Nigeria when there's an imminent threat in those communities. So let's go back again to what the Minister of Information and Orientation, Mohammed Idris, no Mohammed, Lai Mohammed, disclosed this yesterday during a meeting with the media executives and editors in Abuja. So what they're doing is, you know, they're trying to change the narrative. I have said it again, this new administration would love to use the media just as the previous administration continued to tell us lies upon lies that Nigeria is a safe place. We know that there's a problem around the world, but the most important thing is if the American is giving their citizens heads up, and that means that the federal government must also act. He argued that the government has always prioritized the safety of both the citizens and the foreigners, but according to the report, the UK also issued an advisory warning to its citizen against traveling to Kogi Imo Bayasa ahead of the November 11 gubernatorial election taking place in the state. But the United States, like I said, gave those advice and we hope, you know, the federal government will be taking all precaution to protect and save many Nigerians. Let's go straight to some of those. Uh, I mean, let's have a point on, on that one as well.
Now, the, the statement that has been made by the federal government pertaining to the fact that they reckon that with this action, it's going to mean that they are going to lose our investors, which is true. But as you say, if you want people to come into your country to come and invest, then you have to make sure that you put your home or your house in order, which they are failing to do. Are you catching me? Because, I mean, screen, it's screening. It's I mean, they come out with this statement, and then you say that, look, we, uh, we, we found out all the sources that they are talking about. We sent troops there, and therefore we can assure uh, foreign citizens that, look, you are going to be protected. Then we give a bit of assurance, but they're saying that, oh, you know what? This that you're saying is going to actually affect uh, investment uh, in our part of the world. Well, I, I mean, I think the, the federal government is more concerned about investors and investment in Nigeria. We need a lot of that, you know, especially at this very dear economic situation in the country where there's so many youths that are out there without jobs. Uh, you know, the, the economy is driving, uh, it's going very, very uh, in a different direction. The federal government is trying to stabilize it, uh, you know, which takes me again to, you know, the next, uh, you know, um, you know, headline where we're going to be looking into, you know, the forex as well. Again, uh, you know, the dollar this morning is about a thousand. And again, let me also remind you that terrorists killed five, adopted seven in a fresh attack yesterday in Castina community. So the issue is that these terrorists are still on ground. They're still operating. We have about a thousand porous border into the country. Uh, we don't have the right, you know, equipment to fight it. The federal government, you know, spoke with the German chancellor about last week, you know, talking about security. The previous administration for eight years failed, you know, to, you know, to tackle that insecurity as well. The attack of yesterday came again at about 10 p.m. in a laboring Musawa local government in Castina, where five people were killed and seven have now been taken away. That means that millions of Naira would have to be paid, you know, for this. Let's go straight now and look at again if the federal government expect you know uh, you know country to work, you must also make sure that there is enough you know stabilize stability to to enable you know production. And when there's a production, that literally means that you know there will be more forex, there will be more opportunity for many Nigerians and also you know investors as well. But as we go into the business headline at eleven thirty five. Uh, again, Tinobu drive the domestic refinery wants to end the importation. I'm not sure how that is going to happen. But according to the headline, the BDC operators caution currency speculators as the Naira gains a little bit. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, it was about 1,500 last week. It has come down to 1,250 this morning uh, for those of us that are living in the UK. But if you're working with the dollar, that literally means that is about a thousand dollar. It's still very high, and the whole reason is because Nigeria is not producing enough. We have about five thousand containers that leave Nigeria without any con any produce inside, and that means that you know that is not going to be helping the economy. Uh, we we don't have a robust tourism. Uh, many you know international travelers would love to visit Nigeria because of the you know the weather, because of the people. But unfortunately, there are countries are saying if it's possible, avoid going to Nigeria uh, and especially a country that doesn't respect rule of law from the previous administration. I was a member of parliament here in UK talking about, you know, behind me on the screen, the kidnap and the rendition of Inam Bekanu. So you can see that the problems continue to accumulate. Um, you cannot spend even $20 as a Nigeria with your bank card outside. So the question is, how would a foreigner come into the country and then expect to spend money and then go into the black market. So let's go into it. The Association of the Bureau of the Change Operators of Nigeria has warned currency speculators to be wary as the Naira threatens further against the United States American dollar. Uh, again, uh, the president of APCON, Aminu Guadaba, the association noted that the Central Bank of Nigeria was set to inflate pain on the currency speculators. What is happening in the market and the continuous Naira rebound at the manifestation of the CBN double-edged sword measures of the dollar liquidity injection and the Naira mopping through the instrumentality of the interest rate I. It is a good development as it's also a great risk to speculate, harbor, and substitute Naira for currency. This is coming from the president of the 
brew the change in Nigeria. At 11.37, I guess the king is speaking right now. I don't know whether you want me to come back into the studio or we should just continue. Let, we'll continue. We'll, we'll bring in that to uh, our listeners um, once Yomi finish. I promise you I'm going to bring you everything there. So uh, don't worry about that. We'll bring you what the king is saying after we finish with the update. But Yomi, let me acknowledge a couple of people. Just, you know, as good morning to you. I hope you're doing very well. And Russia is not too cool, right? Uh -huh, Moscow. Uh, Angela Dineji, good morning. Now, Comfort Olugunja says that. Comfort Olugunja. Yes, I said the country is already divided. The North doesn't want to depend on the Southern, but for oil supply. Get him prepared. Oh boy, oh boy. So is that what they are doing? So that, that you know what I mean? Just, just, she's saying that. That that refinery that you're saying that you cannot use the oil from the, Nigeria, uh, the crude oil from Nigeria, but has to be imported. Is it cited in the North? In the North, yes. Ah. Yeah, that's, that's the Cardona refinery. Ah. Yeah, I think, uh, uh, come on, I think I agree with you there. Why did they cite anything of that sort? Tony, Tony, uh, let's say hi to you as well. But let's go back to Yomi. Uh, for, and you'll be surprised that, uh, you know, the, the Kaduna refinery, uh, you know, was founded in 1998. So it's not like, uh, you know, something that <laughs> you can just tell that, uh, you know, there's just so much uh, problem. But like you said, you know, uh, Mrs. Comfort Olugunja uh, is quite right, you know, with that, you know, if we have a refinery that cannot uh, produce anything from Nigeria, then we have to rely on importation. That is a complete, total, you know, uh, you know mess as we speak right now. Uh, but we will continue with, uh, you know, with the news uh, coming from other headline uh, this morning. Uh, it seems that, uh, you know, an Irish chef wants to break Ilda Bassi Guinness World of Record for the longest cooking of marathon. I'm not sure why they're not even allowing her to enjoy it for the next one year. Uh, it seems that uh, that is also becoming a news. Amnesty program trains 20 agitators in aircraft maintenance. And also the National Assembly are going to be training the MDA start in Abuja. Uh, I saw a fire that took place again in Abuja yesterday. Uh, by the time the fire truck came, they were almost stoned and they had to drive off. Uh, you know, again, uh, you know, it is not advisable for Nigerians to do such. But what they are saying is that uh, it seems that the fire truck that is not too far away from where the fire incident was taking place, a whole Samsung store burnt all the way down. This was last night. And it seems that by the time the fire truck came, it was just too late to rescue anything there. And they decided probably maybe the best thing is to chase them away rather than allowing them to perform their official duty. What a very sad situation in the country. Uh, as we take one more from what is the trending news, and then I'm going to go straight to what is happening on the social media. Again, we talk about fire. Uh, two people died. Uh, others hospitalized as the fire got the Canadian Eye Commission in Abuja. Uh, the fire occurred when the tank of a diesel, again, Nigeria, when it comes to power, power, uh, a country that doesn't have a stable electricity, every embassy also must have the backup generator. They can't guarantee a supply. They are ready to pay, uh, but they can't guarantee. Why Nigeria is owing so much debt? I'm talking about the Nigerian High Commission in London. They're so, owing so much debt when it comes to certain, you know, taxes here, uh, especially, I think, the parking, you know, parking tax. Uh, I've heard that story a few times, uh, but it seems that uh, the Canadian High Commission, uh, you know, two people died, may they are so rest in peace, while they were trying to, you know, put together uh, diesel in the generator house containing 2,000 liters, it actually exploded. Two persons died with the same number wounded when the fire got a section of the Canadian High Commission in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja, yesterday. Thick, dark smoke was seen spiraling into the sky from the tall, white, diplomatic building located. Imagine if the Nigerian High Commission in London is also running on generator. So you can tell that, you know, power, power is a big problem. This actually happened in the morning, just about 10.45 a.m. yesterday. Uh... Report says that the two Meccano engines were being serviced by a man team from the JMD company. The fire occurred when the tank of the diesel generator that contained 2,000 liters literally exploded. And I guess we have an image of that. I'll be pulling that up and I'm going to go straight to what is happening on the social media. It shows again the negligence of a country known as the most populous black nation. 
with talented Nigerians across the globe, but we've been unable for the last 24 years to resolve power supply. That means that you know the rich and the poor will suffer that. And you can see how the 2,000 liters of the explosion that took place at the Nigerian, I mean, sorry, the British, uh, the Canadian High Commission yesterday in Abuja. May the soul of those that died rest in peace. And we hope the power sector will be well handled by this new administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinobu. Um, Naira is trending this morning. And as you can tell, uh, sometimes Nigerians say, uh, you know, we don't need the dollar. But you've got to remember that whatever transaction you do in Nigeria today, you would definitely need that dollar. If you're buying your ticket, the, uh, the airline expects to return their money back to their country. And that means they expect your government to pay in dollar and not in Naira. So let's look at you know, the Naira trending this morning. Again, uh, this is still the finest African and Caribbean radio station in London. Um, Okay, I got Daddy, uh, uh, Daddy Ahmed, Baba Ahmed, Daddy, the, the Vice President of the Labour Party speaking. We probably won't be able to get the audio, but he says, and I quote, So far, Tinobu presidency has delivered disaster. Yusuf Baba Ahmed, there is nothing bold or special about making an appointment and the Naira has fallen. Yusuf Baba, the former Vice Presidential candidate of the Labour Party. Well, it seems that there's still more trouble. Um, you know, I'm not sure why Davido is trending this morning. I know that you know we talked about San Larry and Neramali yesterday, 20 million. But it seems that the NOS that gave the injection that led to the death of Mobad has now been asked to be returned back again to the custody. Um, this morning, according to Nera rate, uh, US to the one US dollar to Naira is 1,045 Naira, 693 Kobo. Do you know that, um, you know, in UK, uh, I've just come out from the store, coming back home, and wh while I was getting my change, I was still giving up to 5p. Yeah. In Nigeria, yeah. I mean, <laughs> in, and if you're buying anything as well, you know, if you're short of 1p, you're likely not to be, because the computer doesn't recognize it. So by the time you keep the money going in, it's waiting for the last one P. And you're saying, please just allow me to take this milk home. And he said, no, 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 no. That is not what I've been told. The, the important of these, I mean, you know, this morning I gave a little bit of coin to my little ones. Uh, you know, when they, you know, each time they, they want this money, they say, dad, give me money. And I look at the 5 P and the 1 P. I say, it's, it's a big money, just hold that. Mm -hmm. The important of having these, you know, uh, you know, uh, coins is important in any economy but it seems that you know nigeria doesn't have that and for the last uh you know years the only time i saw you know these you know five cobo remember that was during when immediately decided to colorate or change the naira into uh you know painting and whatever he was doing and we saw banks coming out with these coins and i'm asking myself if we have these why has it not been in circulation but again, you can tell. So the pounds this morning is about 1,234 Naira, 74 Kobo, but you will never see the Kobo. One euro is 1,054 Naira, 764 Kobo, and the Canadian is also 751 Naira, 57 Kobo. Naira crashes. So many Nigerians are right there. Well, it seems that uh, Reno Mercury is, uh, you know, is uh, one of the former spokesperson during Jonathan. I believe he has so much money but sometimes, you know, it could shake the table. You are happy when the Naira falls and sad when it rises. You are all you are all congregated around a rice people's party as a citadel for anti-Nigerian sentiment. Together create an echo chamber of negative news about Nigeria, real or imagined. Don't you see what is happening to you with a question mark? You hate Tinubu enough to want to thank the economy for a candidate that can never be the president of Nigeria for the Arise TV network that can never be the number one streaming channel of Africa as it lies in its logo. Well, well, you can say that uh, Nigerians, uh, you know, battle it on the X page. And this is what Omoye Lesho already said 22 hours ago. This was when Nigerian politicians thought the narrow redesign policy initiated by the central bank might work. We can't get the audio out. And it seems that also the last one uh, uh, from Sarah Ibrahim, former first lady, turned to hippopotamus, eating country's money. 
It is not even nine months yet. And this one with stolen mandate want to ride 1.5 billion Naira SUV. Upcoming hippopotamus. And they have a video with that. Um, and this video is um, the... Uh, who is this again? I can't remember his name now. Um, you know, doing a bit of exercise. So it seems that Nigerians are not really happy, you know, with this situation as well. Well, again, uh, there's a lot of controversial between the video and a young man called Abu. Seems to be some money between them. You know, things have not been done properly. And this has been dragging on for the last week right now. The video has a lot of followers. And every now and then, they drag him on the social media. It also seems that the video has some of those are also going to back him as well. So there's a young man called Black Man. I say, I want you all what was dragging for the 218 million naira in exchange for year year dragging. That is if they even owe um, 218 million or not. It was a wasted, he has wasted his case. Well, I can say that Black Man was invited by the video some few weeks back, and I could see that he was eating some jollof fries that he was complaining that he worth about 13,000 naira at the hotel, but he said the video pays for it, so he cares less. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. That's what I would say there. Listeners, uh, Mr. Olaimiko. I'm sure many people will love the video to pay for a 13,000 naira jollof fries plate in an hotel. Yeah. Why, why not? They call him, they call him Omoluwu. You know, his father is rich. So, and he's rich as well. So, you know, 13,000 oh, okay. naira, you know, is just a chicken chain. So it seems maybe after eating that jollof fries, this guy has to now protect and back the video. Because he's also like it's you know like someone that speaks on behalf of uh, the masses, but it seems this time around, after eating the plate of jollof fries and spend some few uh, you know time in Abuja with the video and uh, Prince Kubana, he decided now maybe I should just support the video so that I can eat more jollof fries. <laughs> well, 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 if they want to eat jollof fries, they should come here. You have can cook some for them. Proper one. Well, we don't have to let him come here because I'm not sure he might get a visa. We can take him to Ghana where. At least we know that the Ghana and the, uh, the Nigerian jollof rice is jollof not rice. is not too bad. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, listen, uh, that has been Mr. Live because you bring you all the updates from Nigeria uh, this morning. Yomi, uh, before we go. Well, uh, we'll be back again tomorrow. Definitely, you know, the Niger voices we held tomorrow, God's willing. Uh, but for now, actually, we'll be taking you through what is still happening, you know, right there at the parliament where, you know, King Charles is currently, you know, doing what he needs to do as the king in the state opening. I had the privilege to be there three times, you know, in the last, you know, you know, two decades I've lived in the country. It's a real privilege. Uh, and that was because my mom, you know, retired from that particular section of House of Lords. Mm, yes. So you see, we are here and we are able to... Well, you know I mean, everyone. Now, how easy is it? I mean, uh, when we want to go to the House of Parliament, you go out there, they do some security check, then you can come in, blah, blah, blah. But how easy is it for you to go to... The House of uh, um, the House of Representatives in um, it's not it's not it's not meant for everybody. It's not meant for everybody. Oh. I see. <laughs> it's only for the big men. I see. Yeah, it's not meant for everybody. It's only for the big men. Yeah. Oh, well, well, well. Mm. well uh, maybe when you come to visit, come and see us, and we'll organize that for you. you know, let me say thank you very much for that wonderful update. Thank you so much, Mr. Archie. Bye for now. Bye bye. Well, let's see that has been Mr. Online Nikoi Kick bringing you updates from Nigeria. For the time now, 11.51. Um, I will take a break and I will bring you the King's speech as was uh, made this morning. Wow. Nigeria, 419 country. Hello, family. How are we doing? It's been a long day, man. My body just they hate me. As you say, Molodu, Molod, 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 This weather, ah, Molod, 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 theft. Where do we even start? You know, about this sort of thing. I'm going to say, I'm going to type of comment, I'm going to necessary, I'm going to say, 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 Moriembeo, la cure. Ban sofon, ban ki, um, Guru Maraji. Send number on simi. Send a sorry WhatsApp me. 
I don't think I have his number. Malik Bimo. Just say shout out to him. But we deliver a message from CSI. Guru Maraji. I want your villas or Guru Nibakon. On the rich, rich, little man shell anywhere. And they feel me. Feel a soldier. Our soldier, Kikere, one one call, bo. If you money see Agbe, in the one we will leave my dollar on the social media. Grandma, Lea Jai, shout out, make sure you send number of Guru Simeon, my poor Lenny. Can you shout out for me? But my daughter, Guru Ni, yeah, well, I know you know. She 2021 to move on Nigeria calling. If I to ah, to my dear do gong, but not like your law. Eh, you cool like Barasha. I shame. I buy la guru and two big gun. Orish rich in con allowing it is so. Nick by guru. But I think I be guru looking to pad the lawyer concept. I can't judge the nonny. Bamini, coordinator. I become lucky guru. Money the bad is on on air. Quick sinter so they must have been no. But she won't work by guru learn yet. I want one man in cocon lunch in the I'm a boy. Assumption at the presumption of people moving so in boy, you know. Our religion can be guru. If you believe religion, it's better to guru. Don't bastard. Okay, easy dollar. I'm a young ton singi. Me Louis now. Mulo, but much man drive van. I see program. Mumu can wrap up now. Mumu ang but much in the van. Me, the man drive car carry. Moi, I like Bishop Confumi. But what day? I like Bimmy Debbie, my power for Minisha Con. And I wait to buy them, she say, or is she in your normal Loma Co? Or is she shallow? What on Gosha Noah? So, we shall have dealer on people here. Cafe Loco, everyone, one free move now. If you don't have a move now, it's just truck, Latin she say. But she Bushy Dick Bemo, Debbie. And I realized that we, there's so much alcohol in that house. Ah, alcohol, too, the alcohol was just so much. So I was wondering what they were doing with alcohol. I did buy in tiny, you know. I didn't know what, was, what he was doing with it. Power carry, I'm a Yoruba. And I'm a Borogon. I think the guy is from either Pakistan or India. And I asked him, Excuse me, sir. What are you doing with all this alcohol? Only more mobile shit alive for me. You need your but it has to do with their own religion. Timbas, Timbas, here, and this is your master. Where you guru, guru, resting me. Aburi, Aburi, at Balen. Send number guru, send me, my bag guru sorrow. So, Nima, any. Se mi mo pe religion awon ni alcohol yen. Ah. Mon okay. So, you know, I understand some of us have had a lot of different things about somebody like Guru Maharaji, you know. And most of those news are not real, okay? It's, a, it's just be a palo talk. Mo ki ya baba mi mi kola wole amza. Ba oni jamni, she no so tutu ti dodo yin. I hate the weather. Wo ki la fe she I've lived here for 25 years. I don't like the weather. To change the watch. So, you know, you don't have to love Guru Maharaji, and I'm not advising you to, you know, to love him. O to change the day gone. Tibare and Paru to change the thing. Our grandma met over in Canada, man, in Koiki. She London to change. My boy in Canada. Canada, Luma Domi Bono City, Tibare. Oma de, Oma de, Oma de eyes. You know, some of you don't know why we want to go back home. This morning, I met, um, on my way out, I met some school students. You know, and time I go on the bus, I go on the public transport too much. I love the public transport. It's just good for me. So as I enter the bus, then they close all the window. I don't bomb bastard. I don't drive us in. They don't put on the heater. I don't know why they don't put on the heater. We have a we have a coffee cup to talk about what's in the bus in it, and everybody is sitting in that you know. I'm a pretty sir, I'm a lara. So I love to open the window just for you know circulation. Because whatever I'm on any, Moriton Shawaba, money is cold. Only yes, money it is Britain. 
Only that is why we need to fix Africa so that we can move you all back to Africa where there's opportunity. Abaramo yeni se. Efe kwe, in tonje kama adon, ten riti mwon don ba, we dani, aden jonje gidi. Agomeji la lulu ni se. In ti mwon shi koko ma mula aroi, ou ni, you know, cup of coffee, ti mwon mwen. Mwon de mwon coffee lo jodi mwon. Jodi kwe koda foun, koda bo konshinto, kafin ni konshinto boro ma mwon lo jodi mwon. But you may like I want three and one in this sugar. I'm going to keep it on my bash. So, I'm going to take a break. King Padawa, King Lifarabali. I'm going to take a break. 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 I'm going to Iti mo shi la roi, over 400 people ti wo. Iti a shi la no, over 896. Iti mo shi ni yu stin, 549. Ane ema afun, mini wan wan dola se. Mr. Danilo yede mo ki, give me wan wan dola, wan wan pound. Eh, kilo de. Ema eko jek po yi ya wan zon, to mama afun ani bok bok ni kon. We need everybody to give us money. Ah, no problem, muti boy. Eh. Yesterday, I was running program, even though there was short program. Hey, they follow a lot of platforms, or, you know, hey, subscribe. Hey, but I push the channel, or especially the new channel. How can Koiki Media or in the Koiki Media, the backup channel, ah, and the 1,000 subscriber go down now? Let them see that one. It's not good. Hey, don't wait. If you have a man, you can't answer. Don't you think about it? Hey, but I subscribe. Eh, fun a logo, eh, support wa. Kilo ten shebe na, eh, ma shebe. Ti ba de pakini ni sin, eh, ma lo ma wo repeated, te o luka luku chiche. Kosento wa life ni sin. Be a ti ba wo. It's good when we are live. It's also good when we are not live. Ah, mo de ni la ti make call konfoni sin, yon says America. Koto de pe ni ema debi she. Ah, mo yon wada dal America ni. Se je kin lo kin pada wajari. Mo ke wa, eh, ba wa subscribe, eh, follow wa. A ku jeka ma sobo bwe le yi. O ma da bibi ate e kwe ulu e konsha koni. E ba wa like, e subscribe, e ba ak bo ulu ri Facebook, YouTube. E ba da e kwe YouTube da wate e fwa lowo, o fwa lowo mani sin. E, channels television, on bo ulu ri YouTube. So ma sa fwa me kwe kama ak bo ulu ri YouTube. Channels television to ni ye. Wani monetization le lori. E ko da be na. So ta banja de lo joju ma. Ti bibi si oba lowo wo lowo wo le o shopration. You know, paper le le ni sin. O jo jimo lom produce. O ma yitong kos wong ta pi pi produce. Ta oba lowo ba lo jimi produce. So e ma koma wo wo akwe anja de. You know, it's, you know. Awa ire me ni sin. O ti de baraku. O sik ba ti mo le soro. O si. O rok po lori mi ba. Every day. De ba jade mi si mo tu le wo le pada. So we ra wata akwe, you know, support us. A support wa. Mokia yin te wa lori mixe la. You know. Ah la yi la. Mo te start. Ka bese le du mario. Eh de ron mi le ti sha. Ah. Mo start e sha. God damn it. Alon fin yin lo kon bale. Ah. So la ten kontati wa life. La ti start ready yin mo start e sha. Ah. Aran ti system yin she non yin. System me tiko shisha yin nisi yon fumi ni Ka normali yin ma automate di wwe ma lo pro ni Lien kon no It's ok So e follow wa E ba wa follow platform wa Social media yin ni kon no la ni O ni kon no ni Engine room wun Bo ba wa media ko yishe mi ni kon Ati ye yi dara ni Ati yin ek mami Michael la ni Ati ye leje le ha ni Bo ba wa ta an soro E ba drive e E le le drive e But yin ti ma ari ni kwe Amon yin ama se E ma lo send the link e lo mi si wa I want blog and on V blog. To do ti wa e ba wa gbe jadi. Yeah, she kwe wife me to ni ki ye ma so kwe e ba ma share. Only statement here is a very rude statement ki ye ma so mo. And that's why it stops. Eri kwe moun so mo le njome ta. E ba share, ba ma share. To ba ya, bo gwa ma jaje breakfast in on loron Nigeria. So e ba wa kwe, I mean we are not doing bad. I have a very good statistics. 
O ye kin fun yin sati six yi month of October. Mo ti fun yin ti month of October. Ma fun yin ma wori. You know. Bo bo ta ten fun mi lori TikTok yi gomo yi tigba. Mo un reserve bi yo ma to gbi mi lo follow de ni next year Christmas. Mo un tigba wo yin. Yan ko jan lo sebe mo sebe. E support wa. You know. You need, you need, you need a media. Be ni mo ni lati rest be ni. Aziz. Bo ma yami mo ke. Easy dollar. Mo ki bo bo yin ten je aziz si na. Bo bo yin ten je be de ni nou ben ba mo ki yin. And the one subscribe that the lay I feel called back a little more. Come and bless him on the internet. Book bounty machine used to learn of any internet in Moloni. Be thank you so much. Okay, we only support good journalism. So that Baba Lowo, I'm a shadow for me. I'm a worry. Come on, I'm a mua. Come on, show us. I understand because they are waiting for people like us. To say the wrong thing and they can use it against me. But I won't need a job with you if you miss it. Come on. And each of my videos, I want to target. You're about to call target, I'm saying. Not going to go long, long. Not. You know. What is the whole bondage are you? It's a sad thing. And the one later, I came back bad noon. I came low, low, you know. Very military outfit, me lele. I put jacket, me no more wear. That the lad Roy. Our UK military. It's like you are loving when you put on the military outfit in UK, America, Canada. It's like you have a love for them, but in Nigeria, it's a different thing entirely. Sorry, I can't look in law. Cannot join Jari. Tibade wa jante money. Tino la fin beti ta. So le ma le recharge ou ba an fonz e nan. Ta fin che program. Mo ki bo gwen lan konsi. We must not give up. That's all I can just say. It's a, it's a, eh, yon kon lo picture mo bad. Ah. Kok pa go, ok pa go ba wan yon dan ouni. O waste. Ah. Ta ouni. Il ouye, il ouye, il ouye bourou gan cha. Il ouye bourou. Nigeria is a very, very wicked country. A kok pa ogo mwen yon lara. Wo gbo yon ten wo mini Nigeria. Pata, any talent jume lo. Te ba mwen. To ba de abroad. Pa rikwe talente, o ma flourish fast fast. Talent ito on to ju yon. Ti ko notch. Ti ko nourish da da. Ko da kwa de ken yon la san. To re opportunity bi meji meta. Bi a mekanik yon yon yon. Even if you're a content creator, artist, lawyer, the moment you leave Nigeria, you are going to go to Nigeria. 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 I want to be sure by this. I want to be sure. I be sure. Let her go. I want her to be sure. She will not be sure. She will not be sure. I want to be sure. COVID. Let her be sure. Let her be sure. Let her be sure. Let her be sure. I want to 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 be sure. So, it's a very sad situation. You know. Opportunity. Mo gba be kan koja la a roi. Mo an wo biudi niye. Mo mo biudi niye tele. Wati da wo wale. Mo an safon rame kwe. To ba jek pe gbo gbo le yoruba. Wata. Lo wa develop. Impo ni fula ni fi ma joko si. To fi ma ji wakbe. To ba yipo wa fully develop ni mo so. Ba wo lo si fi ma ji wakbe. Bo ni ma to wa develop. Talent kan waste dan be ni. Talent is. Talent te ni ni le. O ju te mi lo. But would you tell me if you want to tell me, bro, you know, ah, ah, I'm a big man, but I don't want to screen you. You don't want to. But I don't want to look like that because it's a big guy for you. Benny, if everyone lives in Nigeria, who will remain or build in the nation? Nobody, if you want to live in Nigeria, you don't want to live in Nigeria. You don't want to live in Nigeria. It's possible, you don't want to live in Nigeria. Everybody cannot live in Nigeria. But the talent in Nigeria can never come up. 
e wa lo si church mo ki princess victoria eshegonima definitely don't we don't expect everybody to live in nigeria but the talent to yako build in nigeria okay mo ba cousin me cousin no family friend not cousin mo ni daru ko state here awon mo se graduate nigeria ko ni da fun gbogbo awon gbogbo awon to ti se wa lati wo je ki a fe ri ogo wa lo awon mo to se se ton won ma no ma san wo one of it, I'm sure it has in Nigeria recently. Man, only can you clearance? One of my son will clearance and lecturers. Yeah, ah, we need different lecturers. Yeah, and surely they will bring for the quarter. I feel what to buy Jenny on long. I can't. I want. I'm not talking about niche. I'm going to learn why I see. When we now on niche, on the Monday train why I see. I don't know how much. I don't know how much buga. I will I will show you why I see. And it took why show you why I see. Seven years ago, he shared all the reason on the clearance. Lani and not say me what about fifty thousand naira. Lo wa amoye. Kuni da kuni da fun kuni da fun uba ulu shilwa. She fifty thousand naira. Why gave you okay kiri? Then too she drug. She was still fifty thousand naira la roy. Lati bi o shume ta ni sin. She was still fifty thousand naira kaja la re. Ki an lecture la wama demand the fifty thousand la wo omo kong kong. Ta an parents on ba lo wuye. A omo ya kere. Fi a omo ni pe mundar ko state no. Le ta an ba ti pada si state ti wo. Wo tu fe ma pada lo se ni. So wo fe she bubu kini clearance ni kong banto ma ba. Kole ma lo. What if pari ex? What if graduate ni monso? What if ju filas okay? But to one clinic on clearance. I'm sure some of you understand what I'm talking about. Ain't one Nigeria? How did we get to this stage? How? And Taba Joko CD by Taba then buying sorrow. Emi Lema, Emi Lema, so she me mobile Nigeria. I want to ban Nigeria to go in jet on she terrorist. Don't pay it down. And she jungle justice for me. I came about my day with him. Awa le ma le di mo lori social media. E li le di mo politicians yin. Bi kama fi DSS yi beyi. Mama abuse yi. Wo, e de ma lo jare. Ma jare ka ma fada wa. It's just painful. Basic email e lo mi o nini na njiria. Email mi mo koran shini senti mo wo kilo wa mbe. You know, mix it loud. What in the cake? We must be okay. Today, we shall learn now. Two a.m. Learn now. The link for me is October performance for Koiki Media. Now, I think I find the back end October wa Koiki Media dot com. At least two hundred and thirty four people who click on the website wa and follow a lot it. I know that. We are talking so or alufanshani biba. We do do model and produce the report that day. Hello, me akori akor kujala re eni eni ka. Sixteen point four k impressions on the web. Three hundred and fifty two pages with first impression. No problem. A lot of people are hello hello ka kini templatey. Manua Babakito Elori website wa koikimedia.com Yesterday in Akure, a little sister wants to do IT with a radio station. She was asked to pay 500, she thousand before she can be a staff. She 500 naira, look at her, 5,000. Why pay system to she share the bama plant our fig be what the matin in born in 2015 in Nigeria. I'm a trainer, I'm on you. My training, I'm a training. Your mind training, Emma, she training the cool and all little that do. Started the 13th year and instrument to a quality for more than seven years. Then, what how many years? In Tino Bamo, I call a call training. We will not leave a drood at that. Wale, 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 more lot of face off. Why a profession media? Why does she need that? Why go for clean on? 
Nigerian and bastard country. I just pity, I pity many Nigerians that are still, you know, and filled with this, just this hope. Enhanced glory, hope, enhanced glory, rock. Many of you are hanging on false hope. False hope. We, like pastor, me last week, we can't draw from Nigeria, Kumada. That's a false hope. Anyway, I gotta go, I gotta go now. Bye for now, everyone. My name is Alami Koiki. Koiki Media bringing the work closer to your doorstep. Bye for now. To Maria later.